we look at the first few steps. Now, first of all, this uh, t two minus x right never cross my ply. You will still try to cross my ply. You should stop doing that. Huh? Never cross my ply. Uh, you, you know the reason because this fellow can be positive, can be negative. Okay, so we cannot uh, confirm whether is it positive or negative because if negative, then the side you have to change. Huh? So always just do shifting first. In fact, the, the given marking scheme, I feel that actually can improve a bit more because this one, if I write, we can mention that um, comma x cannot be two first. Uh, and quite often later, the answer may contain this. Uh, cannot, uh, cannot be two, uh, otherwise we'll make the bottom become zero. Uh, so do highlight, huh? So after shift, then common denominator, uh, expand and simplify the top part. The top part later can even factorize actually. Okay, so when you come to here, do check a bit, especially if you, uh, if you can't factorize on top or things like that. Huh? Now, uh, actually, based on this one, right? Uh, if you look at the the marking scheme, right, they straight away will proceed to this part. Uh, they put down all the roots there. Put down. Uh, then then somehow they manage to determine which part is positive, which part is negative. But in the event you cannot do that, then I provide you some extra step for you. And the extra steps will be. Um, and anyway, at this moment, this one we still cannot cross multiply for the same reason like just now, huh? Cannot cross multiply. But at this moment, we can actually can do something like this. We can multiply both sides by the two minus six plus with the square bracket square. Uh, because we have square it, so therefore confirm this value won't be negative. Therefore, the sign no need to change. Uh. The reason why we do it now but not earlier is because right hand side already zero. After you shift right hand side already zero. So by doing that, uh, actually the right hand side eventually still becomes zero. And then after that, this one and this one cancel a little bit. Basically, you can see that the effect is just the, the bottom go on top. That's it. Uh, so eventually, just I like the fact that this one just simply you bring on top. Uh, so this one will end up actually as a cubic, uh, cubic expression and all factorized already. So we can easily get the roots. Then after that, you can actually can go to GC, although actually suppose uh, you shouldn't do it, but you can go to GC, at least you know the shape of it. And therefore from there, you can determine how huh, fish is positive, fish is negative. Okay, Ken. Huh. And after that, look at the uh, inequality less than equal. So um, this one and this one, uh, the, the part that below x axis will form the answers. Then any one of you can tell me why this one suddenly empty circle, anyone? Why? X cannot be two, ma. correct? Uh? Yes, very good. Uh, so just now earlier already highlighted here, x cannot be two. Quite often the answer will have, when it comes to the final answer, you have to do this. Huh? Especially when the, this inequality side with the equal. Huh? Mm. Uh, so this, uh, I think is the final marking point. Huh? Okay. So pull up these two uh, and then form the answer. Huh? When we have two regions, make sure that in between put all. Uh, put all, uh, all right? Don't put comma, don't put n, uh, put all. Uh. Ah, so for this kind of question, actually there are quite a few places that we can easily lose money. So please, ah, please be careful on that.